Hello everyone, I am so glad you're here. Thanks for hanging out with me while I make some chicken broth. So I had a bunch of scraps in my freezer and I was needing some broth for a recipe I was gonna be making later that night. So I took out all my scraps and got to work on some chicken broth and it is so, so, so easy. So if you've never done this before, I encourage you start saving those veggie scraps and chicken scraps and make yourself some really delicious broth. So I was working with, I think I have one whole chicken carcass, so all the bones, there was still lots of skin and fat and um, some chicken bits in there. I think that's what just went into that pot. And then I also had a bunch of bones from drumsticks and chicken thighs. And then my veggie scraps were mostly carrot, celery, onion, some shallot, and I think there was a little bit of garlic in there as well. So I'm just dividing those as evenly as I can between the two pots. And I know, you know, you'll find recipes where you're measuring everything really carefully. But I don't really do that. Um, I just kind of work with what I have. And this was probably maybe a month's worth of scraps that I had saved up. Maybe a little less, maybe like two or three weeks worth of scraps. So it's just a great habit to get into to save those veggie scraps and chicken scraps and you can make some really delicious broth. So um, yeah, I just am adding some water to that. And again, I just kind of eyeball it depending on what I'm using, how big of a pot I'm using. And I fill it pretty full. I leave maybe an inch at the top and then I'm gonna let it come to a boil. And once it boils, I'll kind of give it a stir and make sure everything is mingling nicely and uh, then I will bring it down to a simmer and let it just kind of sit on my stovetop and bubble away for a good long while, um, several hours. Typically I start this in the morning and then I kind of go about my day, check in on it, stir it every once in a while and yeah, just let it cook and cook and cook for several hours. Um, sometimes after a couple hours I'll go and I'll add a little bit more water um, it, just to try and get a little bit more out of it and then let that cook, cook down and um, but you can you know obviously just let it completely cook down from what you had originally and then let's see so I by this point it was getting close to the end of the day and I needed to make dinner so I needed this off of my stovetop so I am calling it good it had been many many hours of cooking down and I'm just draining all of that so that I will be left with a nice big bowl of delicious, rich broth. And you can just kind of let it cook, <laughs> um, you know, as long as you are able to. I feel like the longer you let it cook, the richer and more yummy it's going to get. And I will throw in typically like one or two bay leaves to give it a little bit more flavor. I don't salt my broth because I kind of like to have a clean slate to work with when I'm using the broth for a recipe, but you could salt it if you like salting it. Um, it's really up to you. It's just so simple, so easy, so yummy, such a good staple to have on hand and such a great way to use up all of those scraps. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll make some yummy broth for yourself. And yeah, I hope you will come back very soon for another video. Um, yeah. Thanks again for being here, guys. Bye.